Blizzard, you're in big trouble again. And this time, I think you've bitten a bit more off than you can chew. A lot of us will remember the Diablo Immortal announcement for the mobile phones when everyone was expecting a, P a big announcement for PC gaming. It was hyped up through the roof. Diablo, traditionally a PC game. Recently, Diablo 3 became a console game. And instead of announcing either a PC game, which was probably the first preference for gamers and Diablo fans alike, or a console game, which was probably the second preference, they announced a mobile game, which nobody gave a shit about. They came back next year, apologized, and gave us an awesome introduction and a bit of a preview to their work with Diablo 4 and people played it. It was amazing. I made a few videos on it. It looks incredible. But now... A game that's almost 20 years old, Warcraft 3. Warcraft 3 Reforged has recently come out, which is a remastered version of the classic game that a lot of people loved. I'm not too into strategy games, but even I really got into Warcraft 3. I think everyone liked Warcraft 3. And let me just bring up uh, the Metacritic score here, that the, the user score, which is... 0 0.7 it's an absolute disaster and for those of you that don't know why it's because this game was released with bugs and all sorts of issues that cause you to disconnect from the game and it becomes unplayable at certain times sometimes you start a campaign and lose without even playing <laughs> Yeah, without having a chance to play the game these are all things that I've heard thank god I didn't pre-order this and I didn't play it and What's, I think, the worst part about Warcraft Reforged, the remastered edition of Warcraft 3, the game that so many people loved that's come out almost 20 years later, is at BlizzCon, Blizzard showed all these cutscenes and, and, and information and details and, 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 and screenshots of the game and basically lied to, to their fans because... It looks nothing like the videos that were actually shown at BlizzCon and a lot of the things that were shown are actually completely taken out of the game. It's almost like someone just went, no, cut, 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 took out, let's say, 60% of the people working on Warcraft Reforged and just said, you know, don't worry about it, just finish it off as quick as you can and pump it out or something like that. Something went dramatically wrong and fans... Are absolutely outraged as you can see 0 0.7 that is a shocking score and this is blizzard you know once upon a time blizzard was world renowned to be the best game makers in the world their passion was just unheard of you couldn't compare to any other game developer it was just gamers making games for gamers the dedication, the, the way that they listened, their loyalty to fans was just unrivaled. And it looks like, I hate to say it, but since Activision took over, I don't want to point fingers, but, you know, since Activision took over, all these problems have been starting to come about. And I don't know if it's just sort of, it must be coming from a money aspect, like they're just trying to pump out as much money as possible and that passion aspect has declined so they're just trying to make as much money as possible not spend too many resources on a game that's 20 years old and remaster it so just you know quickly pump it out whatever who cares what it's rated but now i think they're going to feel a little bit of pain with a 0 0.7 user score here and not to mention the outrage this has gone absolutely ballistic it's bonkers like everyone on youtube is just mortified and the fact that that you can't actually refund the game. For those of you that don't know about all this news, you're lucky your grippy uncle's here to inform you all. They have some sort of policy in place. So it's kind of like they've trapped you. If you've pre-ordered this game or bought it, they knew they were giving you a real sort of half-assed product here, an unfinished product, something that's just had no love or passion put into it or, or care and it's just been pumped out for the sake of being pumped out they've got a no refund policy from what i hear and you know angry joe is beyond angry i, I love watching angry joe's videos 
he inspired me to actually make a YouTube channel and, and start talking about all the things because everything he does I want to do as well. I want to talk about movies. I want to talk about, uh, you know, I have trailer reactions and talk about games and do game reviews. And obviously Diablo 3 is my main focus because I love that game and I'm going to get to Diablo 4 in a second. But this is what's happened recently, if uh, if you weren't aware. It's going to be interesting to see how Blizzard comes back and answers for this one. So my question now is, how is this going to affect Diablo 4? I'm very, very worried with what's been going on at Blizzard lately. Sure, they might actually put a lot more focus and emphasis on Diablo 4 now and make sure that it's perfect and uh, and actually so this doesn't happen again a, a big disaster like this because that's what it is this is blizzard entertainment and it's got a user score on metacritic of 0 0.7 that is catastrophic it's beyond disastrous it's catastrophic and blizzard back in the days would would never well they wouldn't ever achieve a score that low but it just, they would be mortified if they even probably scored something under a 5 out of 10. This is 0, 0, 0 0.7 for Blizzard Entertainment. I'm shocked. So I'm hoping now they wake up to themselves and actually whoever's sort of calling the shots from Activision, maybe let Blizzard be Blizzard like the old Blizzard. Because they were killing it before, so just let them do their thing and, you know, oversee them a little bit and don't try and pump out content just to make money, like put some passion into it and actually listen to your fans, which it kind of looked like they did, but then why would they do this? Why would they lie to people? Everything that was that was announced at BlizzCon it wasn't in the game and people are just outraged, rightfully so. And on top of that, you can't refund your game if you're not happy about being lied to. What I'm concerned about with Diablo 4 is the way that they're producing and making games at the moment, I just fear that they're going to end up pumping Diablo 4 out and it's just going to be an absolute mess as soon as it comes out. I just have a feeling they're going to ruin it and I don't want it ruined because so far from what I've seen with the three classes that were announced and the, the trailers and the gameplay previews, it looks incredible. The, the way that they've gone back to the dark sort of gothic roots, I love that, absolutely Love that. I was so excited for this game. I'm still excited for this game. But from with what I'm seeing from Blizzard, I'm extremely worried. I'm actually petrified with what's going to be the final result. So it's just a bad time right now to, to, to have what's happening with it, within Blizzard to actually be focusing on another game. Because it looks like they're just in this pattern of disappointing their fans and pumping out content that's just not worth your hard-earned money and I just really fear that Diablo 4 may fall victim to that as well. Whatever they're doing they need to change it up and go back to what they were doing before because once upon a time Blizzard was just unstoppable. They were just killing it. So I just thought I'd make a quick video for those of you that weren't aware about the Warcraft Reforged disaster. This is what's happening and as far as Diablo 4 goes personally I'm very very worried not that they're going to do the same sort of thing and try and rush it out, but just the way, like, the quality of game making right now at Blizzard because of Activision, I believe, is questionable. I don't know where they're going wrong. I don't know why. Like, there's something happening within the production team and the head honchos there. I don't know what it is, but I really hope they figure it out for Diablo 4. Please don't ruin my Diablo 4. I will not be happy. Let me know in the comments below what you think and... Fingers crossed, people. I hope they don't ruin Diablo 4 for us.